Hi, I will be sharing insights into future FTTH technology. Let's explore different models of OLTs and ONTs and how they are used based on specific requirements. In this setup, we are using a single port GPON OLT with 32 outputs. Several ports from this OLT are connected to different types of ONUs or OLTs, each serving a specific purpose. Let's see the different connections from the OLT. First, one output from the OLT is connected to a 4 out fiber splitter and from that splitter only two connections are made. One is connected to a LAN plus phone ONU and the second one is connected to a PoF injector. Let's see the connections from the LAN plus ONU and analog telephone is connected. Another output from the fiber splitter is connected to a PoF injector. From that PoF injector a POF ONT is connected. A POF injector is used to ensure easy installation over longer distance compared to PoE. A POF injector connected to a POF ONT may not require a direct power supply. Let's see the next connection from the OLT output. The next output from the OLT is connected to another fiber splitter. From this splitter, a LAN plus video ONU is connected. This ONU has an RF port that can be connected to a television using a coaxial cable. A Wi-Fi plus voice ONU is also connected. From this Wi-Fi plus voice ONU, an RJ45 cable is connected to a laptop for internet access through the LAN port. Let's see the next connection from the OLT output. The next output from the OLT is connected to another fiber splitter. From this splitter, a PoE ONU is connected. From the PoE ONU, an IP camera is connected using a RJ45 cable which transmit both power and data for the IP camera. This technology is an effective method for easy maintenance and troubleshooting. Regarding capacity, a single port from this OLT can connect up to 128 ONUs and ONTs. One of the main advantages of this system is its high capacity compared to other systems. FTTH technology is evolving to provide more efficient, scalable and easier to maintain network solutions.